Welcome everybody to OFR. My name is Kevin, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at the Utespillar Gaming Desk from IKEA. I've been using this desk for more than one month now, and my personal view of this desk is generally positive. There were a couple of minor inconveniences I have with this desk, but I'll explain them further along in the video. So as you can see, you get more than enough space on the worktop which can fit anything from laptops, a couple monitors, a PC, or whatever else that pertains to your desk setup. To be more exact, the width of this gaming desk is 63 inches, and the depth is 31 and a half inches. With this worktop, you also have the option of either setting up the par with the indent further away from where you sit, which gives you more space to run your cables through, or the indent can be installed facing the front. In the back, there's also metal mesh that can be utilized to hold your PC and can give your computer better airflow. I found that the outer part of this mesh structure is stable, but the mesh part has some bend to it. I tested out the metal mesh to see if it can hold the backside of my bulky printer, and I noticed that it held up quite well. I would say that the overall worktop is constructed fairly well, other than the minor inconvenience in regards to the melamine foil used to cover the particle board. Whenever I was typing, or just rubbed my fingers along the surface, I noticed that smudges showed up. I don't know if the same thing applies with the other color, but in black, it's quite noticeable. So if you're a person that likes keeping things clean, you're going to have to consistently wipe it down. I also noticed that when I cleaned the worktop after 10 times or so with a damp cloth, right along the edge, the particle board expanded a bit. It could be that this desk is a one-off, and the tiny gap wasn't sealed properly, as furniture made out of particle board shouldn't show these signs of deterioration that early. My recommendation is that if you're interested in this gaming desk, invest in a large desk mat to mitigate all the issues I mentioned earlier. IKEA also states that this desk is sturdy, and after testing out the stability, they aren't lying. The weight of this desk definitely helps with its stability, but as you can see, even on carpet, there was only minimal movement. On top of that, if your hardwood floors are uneven, this desk comes with four adjustable feet that can also help with the overall stability. Another cool thing about this desk is that the legs are adjustable. There are six different heights to choose from, as the lowest level is 26 and 3 quarter inches, or 68 centimeters, and the highest is 30 and 3 quarter inches, or 78 centimeters. I think this idea is a nice touch, as a difference of about 4 inches, or 10 centimeters, can better accommodate people of different heights. For your reference, I'm 6 feet tall, and with the desk chair I'm using right now, adjusting the desk to either 74 or 76 centimeters works the best for me. Underneath the desk, you can also see that you get a lot of leg space. On one hand it's a good thing, but on the other, IKEA could have included a small drawer so that you don't have to store everything on top of the worktop. But to solve this, you can always buy an extra storage unit and place it under the desk. You'll also notice that underneath the worktop, the designer from IKEA included a soft mesh to help with cable management. This mesh can be useful as it holds cables and guides them out on either the left side or the right side of the gaming desk. Depending on if you like this design choice or not, at least it keeps the lower back section of the desk clean. I would also like to add that if you have troubles assembling IKEA furniture, I made a tutorial on this particular desk, so you shouldn't have any trouble with the assembly process. But if you're interested in purchasing the Utespillar gaming desk from IKEA, right now it goes for $229 in Canada or $199 in America. So overall, in my opinion, I think it's a great desk other than the smudges that show up on the desk frequently. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video, and screw that subscribe button if you want to see more furniture review videos.